I'm so proud that this came out now, you know, for Hispanic Heritage Month, Latin Heritage Month. It's not what a great little show. It's set in Santiago of the Seas. I wish this existed when I was a kid. My mm -hmm. Spanish would be so much better. And I would have felt so proud of being who I am. If, if, if That's what I want little kids to feel when they see it. Because, you know, the kids in this show flow so easily between English and Spanish. And there's so many Latin cultural Easter eggs uh -huh. in, 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 the, in, the, in the TV show. And the great thing is that the, the lead protagonist villain is a girl pirate. How mm. cool is that? Well, I thought it was very funny and it was very entertaining and I, and I enjoyed the adventure. You know, mm. I, I was in Dora as well. I did a lot of voices in Dora and mm -hmm. I, I'm so glad that they found a new way to continue this sort of biculturalism and education and learning. And we're doing parents' job, I, I want to tell you. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm helping you parents, <laughs> you know, make sure your kids are proud of their language, are proud of their culture, and are speaking it. Okay. That he was sneaky and, and, and uh, you know, weaselly, and that he, <laughs> that he had no self-respect. <laughs> That's what I liked about him. Well, I, I think it, it, the incredible adventures of a, of a good pirate you know, pirates mm -hmm. are usually villainous and bad. And this pirate, Santiago, is a good guy wanting to do positive things, helping his fellow man, the good of mankind. He's incredible. You've never seen a pirate this cool and this nice. Obviously, because it's for children. We want to role model positive behavior, unlike our president did at the first debate. Mm -hmm. that, that Latin people are so friendly. We take care of each other. Uh, you know, we, we bring everybody in, you know. We want everybody around. We're the most inclusive people on the planet and, and the most resilient because we've come from some of the toughest historical moments, almost complete genocide. We're the only culture that, whose language, culture, and religion was destroyed. And, it, and yet we're still here thriving, surviving, essential workers and responders during COVID. Uh, we're, we're America's backbone. We are amazing. <laughs> Latin is a superpower.